Hi there, my name is Jens Christian. I come from Zurich, Switzerland, and I'm going to talk about compression on a music track today. So I have a, a track that comes as a sample with the Reaper project. It's a guitar Sleep and voice. And uh, we're going to compress the, um, the voice track today. So I'm opening the uh, effects, adding compression, and uh, we're going briefly to look at um, the options for compression. We can um, set the ratio of compression between one, which means no compression, one dB output, re input comes to two, one dB output. We can style it up, like three. So for every dB uh, above the uh, threshold level, the compressor would uh, dial back three dBs, etc. Um, for voice, I like to keep it below four, so something like this here. Um, we can change the attack and the release of the compressor in milliseconds. I'm going to leave that. This is how fast the uh, compressor reacts to changes in the input signal. And we want to have a little bit of, of the uh, transient um, in the beginning. Uh, so we leave that at three milliseconds. Uh, there is an additional low pass and high pass filter. I'm just going to leave them as is. And the uh, the next important uh, value here is the threshold. So when should the compressor start to kick in? Let's uh, take a listen. On the voice Sleep, track. my child, and peace. I can dial this back quite a bit, maybe to minus 15 dB. Sleep, my. Probably even more. Sleep, my child, and pe And you might have noticed that the compressor actually is working. Uh, over here you see red bars. Sleep, my child, and pe This is uh, the gain reduction that the compressor is doing. So let's listen to that in the, uh, the, in the mix. Sleep, my child, and peace attend. Uh, so it sounds a little bit um, quieter than before. Sleep, my child, and peace attend. You can definitely hear that uh, it's not as as loud as as it was before. So we, what we have, what have we re um, managed to do? We have uh, cut the dynamic range. Um, the loudest p bits and pieces are quieter, while the quiet pieces are as they were before. And uh, what we actually want to do is to raise everything. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on auto makeup here, which is a, a gain, um, which introduces more gain. Let's take a listen. Sleep, my child, and peace attend thee all through the night. And you can hear how the voice really comes in and, and it has much more drive than before. So um, let's take a look at how that actually looks um, like if we if we uh, look at the waveforms. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this track here. I'm going to freeze it. So what, what happens now is that Reaper uh, computes how the track actually should look like and uh, applies the compression effect to it. And it takes a little while another two seconds remaining there we go and you can see that the the voice has just been flattened out before we had quite a bit of uh, of uh, lows and highs now it's just m much more um, even in slumber, sleeping. and let's just undo this so you can see the difference Boom. So the difference between the quietest part and the loudest parts, it's much more pronounced with the non-compressed version and uh, gets leveled out with compression. Uh, okay, forgot auto makeup. Let's try to freeze it again. Uh, so I... I got everything quieter, but didn't get the uh, the gain improvement. Let's see how the gain improvement now looks on the compressed track. There you go. You can see that uh, it's pretty even out now. So this is compression um, on a practical example. 
and my five minutes are up. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with in your lessons. Take care.